Okay, and for my swatch, I have a stitch short. I didn't uh, make it long enough, but that's okay. If you only have one here, that's okay. If you have two here, that's what you want. If you have three, it's still okay. Because um, as we go on, it will correct itself. So you slip stitch in the beginning stitch. Then you just want to grab your main color and slip it through your loop. Then you can pull it tight to make sure it's good and secure. Pull the secondary color tight to secure it. And then now you're ready to start your main color again. Now for um, every time you do a main color row, you will be doing it like this. You'll start off by doing a single crochet in the tops of the double crochets and then you'll be doing a cross stitch and here where I only have one I'll be working my cross stitch and my single open chain and then you can just go here and use where the double crochet is to finish your cross stitch just to have it completed it's okay now if you have three extra stitches then ignore one of your chains and then just do a single uh, do the cross stitch using only two of your stitches and just ignore the third and then from now on it will be correct for there as well but you're supposed to have two stitches in between that's what you want anyway so those two stitches that you skipped from last round to do a cross stitch is you want to skip the first stitch go into the second stitch and do a double crochet and then the stitch that you just skipped you want to go back and do a, a double crochet into that stitch and it essentially it crosses them over see now it's in front of it and then again you come up to a double crochet so you want to do a single crochet into the top of it and then you'll want to do a cross stitch again skip the first one go into the next do a double crochet and then go and do a double crochet in the one you just skipped and then single crochet in the top of your double crochet that's all you're going to be doing this this row it's cross stitches and those two skip stitches and single crochets in the top of your double crochets continue this all the way around and you will have completed your first set okay I've come to my last section here like I said I I miscounted so I only have one stitch here uh, I just want to remind you um, I'm always telling you this uh, one stitch three stitch what you do if you end up having one stitch or three stitches here but um, if you see something like that in, in your hat you may want to go through and check to make sure you have two stitches in between each because you might have just skipped one so make sure that you check before you just say okay I'm just going to fix it later so anyway I have uh, only one so I'm going to go in and do my double crochet into this one and then I'm just going to go in to the same stitch that I used for my double crochet here okay when you get done slip stitch in the beginning single crochet then you want to switch back over to your secondary color. You've completed one set. So switch over. Now, when you, every row that you have from now on with your secondary color will be done like this. So it's easy to get off frame when it's so close. You can chain one or two, it's up to you. I'm just going to chain one and you go right back into the, that stitch that you slip stitched in to finish the round which is a single crochet you will always be putting a double crochet in your single crochets and you'll always be, be putting a single crochet in the top of your double crochets so once you've got your double crochet you'll chain two skip two stitches which are above your cross stitch here and like I said again you'll be putting a double crochet in your single crochet it should line up perfectly you should line up double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, single crochet as you go along your pattern 
So this will be a double crochet, chain two, skip two stitches row, putting a double crochet in each of your single crochets from last round. So chain two, skip two stitches, double crochet. So you're beginning your next set. Okay, and when you get to the end of your round, always slip stitch in the beginning stitch. Then switch back over to your main color. Then again, you'll always start this round the same by putting a single crochet in the first stitch. And then you'll start your cross stitches in the skip stitch skip stitches from last round and always put a single crochet in the top of your double crochet and this row here will be completing your second set so you do a cross stitch single crochet cross stitch single crochet and as you can see this will be this row here will be ending your second set. So I just want to show you now. You want to continue your hat until you reach 25 centimeters or 10 inches. 25 centimeters is 9.8 inches, but close enough, 10 inches. So once you have your hat all the way up to uh, 25 centimeters or 10 inches, then you're ready to start doing your reducing round. And how you do that is a slip stitch into this last stitch here. When you know that you've gotten close to 25 centimeters or 10 inches, you need to cut your secondary color here because you won't need it. And then you can just complete your last row for your set. And then you'll work this secondary color in with a tapestry needle. And I slip stitched in the beginning stitch to end my round. Now I'm ready to start my reduce. So what you want to do is I'm going to go ahead and chain one. Go right back into that same stitch, beginning stitch, pull up a loop. Go into my next stitch, pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops to decrease. The next stitch I'm just going to do a normal single crochet. Then the next stitch you will want to do a double crochet. I mean a single crochet decrease again. So you pull up in the next two stitches and then pull through all three loops. Next stitch be a single crochet. You'll be repeating this all the way around. Single crochet decrease. The next stitch will be a single crochet. Single crochet decrease. Then your next stitch will be a single crochet. Continue this all the way around. Okay, I just finished the first round of uh, decreases. And what you want to do at the end of the round is just continue around. So if you have a, a marker or something you want to put here, maybe a good idea. Oh, I have one here somewhere. There we go. I just use a bit of different color yarn. So that's my last stitch. And this is my first. Some people have told me they don't know how to put the yarn ones on. All I do to, to put it on is I fold it in half, put it on my hook like this, I pull it through the stitch that I'm going to be marking, and by pulling it through because I have it folded in half, now I have a loop on my hook. And now all I want to do is just grab those two strings and pull them through that loop I just made. And some people have said that their markers fall off. How to prevent that from happening is just get a longer piece of string because if it's really long, that thing ain't going to come untied. So, 
once you've got your stitch marked here, you want to work in one continuous round because this looks better. So in my first stitch, I'm just going to go right in and do a single crochet. I'm not going to do a slip stitch. Now, you've done one round of reducing. We're going to have six rounds total. What you want to do now for the next two rounds, rounds two and three of your reducing, is just put one single crochet in each stitch around. So just go through for rounds two and three, just doing one single crochet in each stitch. So continue that and then I'll see you for round four of the reducing rows. Okay, I've just got done with round three of my reducing rows. I have my two rows of single crochets done. And now when you start your fourth, you want to do it like you did your first round. You want to go in and start your single crochet decrease. And then the next stitch will be a single crochet. So you want to continue this all the way around. Doing one single crochet decrease and then one single crochet. So continue that all the way around and I'll see you at the end of this fourth round of reducing. Okay, just got done with my fourth row of reducing and now for the last two rounds are going to be just like you did before here. You're going to be doing one single crochet in each stitch around. So for the next two rows, for five and six for your reducing rounds, just do one single crochet in each stitch around. And I'll see you when you get back up here to the beginning. Okay, I just finished my last row. You just want to go right into the next stitch, do a slip stitch, and then chain one. Cut your tail leaving a a long tail because you're going to be using it to close up the top of your hat. Pull your yarn through, tighten up that chain, creating a knot for yourself. Then you can remove your stitch marker. Now you want to turn your hat inside out. And then find your yarn here, pull it through. Okay, now you have two things to work in. The secondary row you cut off earlier. I'm going to be feeding it through the same color. Just going down the stitches the same color as long as I can or at least a decent amount and I'm going to stretch my hat out and then I'm going to cut leaving myself just a little bit of tail in case when someone puts it on, they stretch it out just a little bit more. It'll give them a little leeway without it popping out. So then you want to get your long tail. I'm going to be using the sew on the top of the hat. And what you'll be doing is you're going to be going in through the stitches. Same stitches that you use when you single crochet. You'll just be going in through with the tapestry needle. And then you'll be coming up, going the other direction. And then you go into the next stitch, weaving it back and forth between these stitches. And then pull, after you've got a few weaved in, pull your tail. And then just keep going. Weaving back and forth. And pulling through. 
And then as you can see, if you keep pulling, you're pulling it tighter. And when you get all the way around, you can pull it and it'll just close the hole up. So just continue weaving through the stitches all the way around. And when you get back up here to the beginning, I'll see you back here. Okay, I just got done. Now I'm going to pull, tighten up my hole here. And then, here's my hole. I'm going to go in through one side of the hole and then put my hook through the other side. I mean my hook, my tapestry needle. Pull it until you have a little bit of a loop here left and then feed your tapestry needle through that loop and then pull it tight to create a knot. And then I'm going to turn it, turn my hat, and do the same thing, going the opposite. I just did this direction, now I'm going to do the opposite direction. Going in through the stitches on one side of the hole, and then the other. Pull it until you have just a little loop left, and feed your tapestry needle through that. Pull it tight. Now, do it one more time, but this time, you're going to use this loop here, and you're going to tie three knots. So I do one, two, and three. Now I get my hook my hook, keep holding the hook, my tapestry needle around this loop that I just got, and holding it with my finger so that it doesn't slip, I just start twisting it, I'm twirling my loop essentially, till it's all tight, twisting it, then I'm going to go through, this is my hole here where I was doing, and there's my knot, I'm just going to now feed it down through the stitches of my hat. Well, it won't show. Feed it down a little ways. And then pull it down. And you can stretch your hat a bit. And like before, cut it, leaving a little bit of a tail in case somebody stretches it again. And then you can flip your hat back in the other direction. And there you go. That is how you make the Birds of Paradise slouch hat. And I also have a tutorial where I have a, the fingerless gloves if you're interested. So that's it. I hope that you liked this tutorial and if you did please don't forget to like and share this video. It really helps get my name out there so if you're a fan of my work it's the best thing that you can do to really help me out is to share and talk about this channel and let people know that I exist. And please don't forget to subscribe. And if you comment on any video it's a way that your friends can also see uh, and get to know who I am. So please feel free to leave a comment in the underneath the video. And as always, you can find a link to the pattern in the description video, I mean the description box under the video. So thanks so much for watching.